guys, my name is Doak and today it's not your lucky day because I won't be picking any of your suggestions. Instead, I got inspired by my fellow artistic YouTuber Vex. He created this huge SpongeBob out of 1 million Legos, which is really impressive. Yeah, then Mr. Beast created a tower with 10 million Legos. You know which one of these two channels I prefer. Anyways, as you already know, today I'm trying to paint Lego. And also, as you might see, merch is here. More about that later in the video. Because right now it's time for the preparation. I went to a toy store and I bought some Lego. Because that's how you make a perfect reference, right? This is gonna take a while. Are you ready? Because I'm about to show you the best Lego ever. I know it's not really a masterpiece, but remember that this is not about building Legos, it's about painting them on a wall. Right now, I'm gonna play with light, I'm gonna take some reference pictures, and then we will paint it. The first painting on the billboard. Baby. This is not easy at all. So far, it looks totally awesome. <sighs> This is a very, very precise... You know, if I want to make this in a good way, every single one of these lines has to be completely straight. And I'm getting a little bit afraid that this painting will be a big problem. This is, this is just... <sighs> I didn't just decided to paint Lego, I decided to paint it in an angle and it's just... <sighs> this is tough. Hmm. Come on. This is really really nice, but these parts 
are just in in the way are such a basic tool that it may seem like they need no explanation, but it is important to know how to use one safely and effectively. All right, this is great. Such a great tool. At least, I hope so. I've been doing these first lines for two hours. That's a lot. Tape Army is back. <gasps> Doing a painting like this is time demanding and you need a lot of patience because everything should be straight with right angles. It already looks kind of cool, but it's not Lego yet because we need these, you know, this. The problem with these small details that I'm about to do over here and also on the top is that they're so small. So maybe these tools will help, but yeah, <sighs> I'm afraid of it. Mm. This is gonna take a lot of time, but I think that...
So guys, right now it's time to talk about this. My brand Doke came back to life in the beginning of this year. We got a new website, fast, worldwide, almost worldwide shipping. Some of you already know that because you bought prints, original artworks or stickers. But you were also asking for something else. All the t-shirts and the hoodie are highly limited organic, fair trade and climate neutral as we don't want to support fast fashion and the climate change. By we, I mean my brand Doke and Shoes. Shoes is a sneakers and clothing shop that you might know from my Instagram. They support what I do, they got some sick sneakers and most importantly, they are great people. So together we created this merch. Essence of Snow is a comfy hoodie with a design that is a combination of my name Doke and my dog. Snow. Dog in Japanese means get out of my way. Snow is Shiba Inu, which is a Japanese dog breed with a temper that screams get out of my way. I just love how this fits together. Then there is the practice tee. A t-shirt with one of my favorite quotes written in let's call it a clever way. Yeah, I wanted to hide an important message in this design. And this t-shirt is available in two colors and just as the hoodie it's really comfy. The last but not least is the classy tag tee. You know, ordinary people don't really get graffiti tags. So what we have done is that we twisted the design so you can see it in the right way. And when you look at yourself in a mirror, you see a mirrored design, but it still says dope. So we are the only person who sees the design in the right way all the time. And so this is the new merch. Just as I said, it's highly limited, so if you wanna get something, do it while you can, and yeah, I'm really excited about this. I just hope that you're gonna like it too, and yeah, there is a link in the description below that will take you straight to the eShop, where you can get whatever you want. All right, let's finish the goddamn Lego. All right, guys, let me just say that this episode of I Try was one of the most nerve-wracking ones. Also one of the most time-demanding and... You know, when I paint I like to get a little bit wild, but with this painting it was not really possible because I had to stick to the shapes, exact shapes, which was not easy at all, but hey, there is a big storm coming, so why don't you hit that thumb up if you like what I'm about to show you. And yeah. I hope that you like the merch as well. This is it.